St. Francis Xavier loved the work that he was doing of the children and the people. And so he touched them right at the start. And this has continued to happen even now after so many years. Precisely because that was his charisma to set the whole of the East on fire with the love of Jesus and to bring them all to Jesus so that the consequence would be that they also love as he has loved. So this was basically his driving force. And so with this, whatever he achieved at that time continues even now because the Jesuits continued the fervor. The Jesuits were given with St. Francis Xavier, the College of St. Paul's, and they grew in their works there at that time. So there was a catechumenate for males and females. There was a home for the orphans, both Portuguese and non-Portuguese. There was a hospicio, hospital, and that catered to them. So it was from this that, you know, a lot of work was happening even when he was not there because his spirit was animating them. And so they decided to move away from there because it was getting cluttered. They came here. And what they started was a house for Jesus. Casa Professor moved in here. But who are the Casa Professor? People who are friends in the Lord. So this is the place where they were. Then slowly the church came. So the church also was not named after Francis or for Ignatius, but it was Jesus. So the church was of Jesus here. And that is how you can see how Jesus animated everything that a Jesuit did at that time. And it continues even today. Why? Because the whole legacy has gone down and people simply throng and get moved to come to this place. There is a certain God that is struck in their hearts of faith and of you know intercession. He's interceding in their lives even today. So the youth, the older people, the migrants, all of them come here because they get animated by the way the Jesuits even today animate them, lead them to Jesus, 